What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a little bit, but I'm excited to get back out and catch some fish. Uh, today's goal is to get out and jig some pompano. Um, there's people that's been starting to catch pompano in 15 to 25 feet and I want to try it out. I want to learn how to do it. So that's what I'm going for today. So uh, you guys stay tuned and we'll see if we actually get some fish in the boat. I got a fish on and I'm hung up on this. There we go. There we go. All right. So, so I just got a fish on and got, oh my gosh. Oh no, he's in my motor. He's in my motor. Come on, buddy. This is not going well. You got my motor. Alright. That is a jigged pompano. My first one. Oh, that's so cool, man. Oh. So I've been uh, chasing these fish. And then I just hooked one and uh, my line was actually wrapped up in the, the tip of my rod. So trying to get that out he runs on the boat he gets caught in the motor swings back under luckily the fish didn't get off but that is my first jigged pompano and i am proud of that there we go that's awesome man so thankful so thankful what do you think griffin a good one on these fish are in this current so they have a lot of fight in them basically turn sideways in that current and there's really no stopping them what happens though, if you keep that tension on them the current will actually sweep the fish up i don't want to put too much pressure on them Come on, baby. I haven't seen him yet. Doing some fighting. Alright, there's a pop in there. Okay. Come on, buddy. Alright, there we go. Yeah, pop in there number two. He's a pretty fish man some of North Carolina's finest right here that's awesome man all right buddy you got to get down all right there's a good fish there's a good fish he's running me Got a good one on y'all. Feels really good. He's swimming against the current. Taking my time. Taking my time. Working at his speed, letting the rod do the work. I don't really have too much drag set. back around the other side of the boat it's a good fish y'all it's really good I think the biggest takeaway from learning how to jig these bad boys is just trying to keep your line vertical and that's really what I'm struggling with That's 
the biggest one of the day by far. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Catching these things. Oh look, it's already come out. Fish is free. Let's go ahead and get this jig out of here while I got this little puppy dog. Although he doesn't get too excited about fish, which is kind of funny because if y'all followed me for the last couple of years, you know that my last chocolate lab had to be involved with every fish that touched the boat. This dude right here, he'd rather just lay up, post it up. Just watching the show. It's number three. So cool, man. If you, you guys have not had this fish yet, you have to try to catch some, buy some, uh, phone a friend. You gotta get on, on some of these Pompano because they're delicious. What's up, boy? What's up, dude? Good fish. Doing some fighting too, boy. Look at that thing, man. <laughs> Doing some acrobatics for us. That's cool. Oh, he's digging. All right, buddy. Sorry to, sorry to break it to you, but you're going in the box, honey. Oh no, don't get in that troll motor. Got him. All right. I love this, man. Oh, I love this. I love this. This is so much fun. All right, that's number four. That's number four right there. We've been just jigging, man. We've been out here for what, an hour, hour and a half? Four fish to, to show for. I'll take it, man. I'll take it. All right, we're on again. We're on again. Feels, feels good, guys. Feels good. I love this so much. Oh gosh. That's a nice fish. Alright. Alright. And we're on again. <laughs> we're on the board again. It's so pretty. Just the coloration, man. The, the light fade from the the blue to the silver sides into the yellow on the belly, man. They're so pretty. My goal is five. That's a good amount to eat. I can eat two for one tonight, one tomorrow. Freeze the other three for family. I think that's fair. I may keep one more. That'll put me at six. But uh, as of right now, I'm pumped guys. This has been an absolute blast. I love catching fish in a different way other than anything I've ever done. The most pompano I've ever caught in a fishing trip is one fish and that's from the surf. Now that is a different type of fishing. It's, it's a lot of fun too, but this, there's just something special about popping that jig and all of a sudden you feel the tension of that fish and that fish just takes off running into this current. So it's a lot of fun, but we're gonna get back to it. All right, I'm switching colors to see if that has any effect. This is more uh, pink, pink whites and greens, and the other one was more uh, chartreuse and pink. Let's see if there's any difference. Oh my gosh! Wow! Wow! Okay. 
get these in my motor. In my motor. this oh no this is bad okay we're gonna have to let, let him swim out there we go he swam out that was instant guys that was instant i cannot believe that He don't want it. Come here, buddy. All right. All right. That was instant. Holy smokes. I was like, I don't know, three or four seconds. It was down. I popped it. I think once. I'm not sure. I need to watch the footage back, but that was nearly instant. Man, I should have been using this color the whole time. I don't know if that's uh Okay, okay, okay. Oh, buddy, I'm trying to get it out. I have to get pliers, I think. You killed it. Now I'm cursed by the one more. One more fish, one more fish. That, just one more. Uh, I don't want to be greedy, but I am going to drop down a couple more times. I may switch it up. I may put on a soft plastic and drop that a little bit, but man, what a blessing to land six pompano in a day and put them in the box. I'm going to be able to feed a bunch of people. That's really cool. So uh, man, thanking the Lord for that, but uh, let's get back to it. There's the spoils of the day. All right, I'm gonna clean these bad boys up. Now, one thing about pompano is you can eat the skin. And people say they don't have scales or anything. They do have really fine scales. I don't think they would be an issue to eat them without scaling them. But I'm real finicky when it comes to food. So I'm just gonna run the scaler across them one good time and knock off all these little micro scales see look at the, the uh, little scales all up on the uh, scaler here not enough to worry about if you're not real skittish when it comes to food you'll be fine but definitely have some OCD tendencies when it comes to uh, eating for me now some people will just eat them whole like this you know gut them but I prefer to knock the head off and uh, just peel the guts out of it. But I'm just gonna knock the head off. Got a serrated Dexter knife here. They work really well. And I'm also gonna cut the tail off because that's not gonna vacuum seal very good. And then I'm also gonna knock these fins off because I'm gonna give these to family members. And that's gonna vacuum seal a lot better. So I'm gonna do that with uh, with six of them, and I'm gonna vacuum seal those up. Last step would be to just peel the guts out, and let's see what this bad boy's eating. So a lot of barnacles. Hmm, interesting. So that that's full of like barnacles and shells. Yeah, it's a lot of shells. So, yeah, they're eating little, um, I don't know, it seems like they're eating some type of mussels and clams, little teeny clams. 
That's really cool. Now that the fish is cleaned and ready to roll, we're gonna go through this step by step together and throw this thing in the oven and bake it up. I'm preheating my oven to 400 degrees, so it's on its way up right now. And then here is a uh, fresh pompano. Now what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna take my fish and I'm going to cut my slices into the fish. Now what this does is it lets that heat penetrate these slits. And I'm basically going to create the cross hatches with the flesh. And as the, the fish bakes and dries out per se, it will actually open up these cubes. And these will be delicious white cubes of destiny when I finish up. But that's basically what it's gonna look like on each side. Now your boy over here is Southern and I'm a big fan of beef tallow. So I'm gonna pop the lid on this party. And I'm gonna take just a little bit, enough to drop into the bottom of the pan so that I can get these juices flowing once the oven gets rolling pretty good. So as that melts, it's gonna cover the bottom of the pan. The next step is to cut these cubes up and I'm just gonna take my sticks of butter and actually run them out through the fish. And I'm gonna drop a few uh, butter slices down in the bottom that's gonna mix up with that beef tallow. And then on top of the fish, I wanna cut just some thin slices so that I can actually place it inside the crevices and cracks of all these uh, different knife marks that I've made. And it doesn't take much. You gotta remember that most of this is gonna melt out of the fish anyways. So, doesn't, don't have to go too crazy here. Fish is basically ready to roll. The bottom of the pan's gonna be coated. Butter's gonna melt on top of the fish and drain down into the bottom. Now I'm going to salt and pepper everything up real good. I know it seems like I got a lot of butter going on and a lot of pepper going on and a lot of salt going on. And it's true. Cause I like the, my fish to taste like my women. Robust, full of flavor and a little salty. That was a joke. Uh, I'm single, I fish too much. Last step in the prep process is uh, take some of this lemon juice and sprinkle it on the fish. And I'm just gonna place this in the oven for 20 minutes. All right, we're at 20 minutes here. I'm pull it out and flip it over for another 10. And now we are at time. Pull this. There we go. Uh, it does try to fall apart on you a little bit. So you gotta get something big to pick it up with. All right, so Jordan just tried some. He said it's a little fishy. I've tried some. I'm gonna try another piece. Uh, the first piece I got was like right by the bloodline. And it was a little fishier than what I would prefer. I'm gonna try some off of the bloodline now. I mean, it's good, but if you like a, a fish to be a little stronger and have more of the fishy flavor, um, then bacon fish is the way to go. But if you're more along the lines of, I just want fish to taste like anything else, then frying it's probably the way to go, but still really good. If you guys haven't had Pompano, you gotta, you gotta get some and try it out. But I appreciate you guys watching this video. I will catch y'all on the next one.